Welcome to the show. We are excited here in Chickasha because a recent NAIA poll put USAO men ranked third in the country. So congratulations to them for that. Today we have starting goalkeeper Brian Byers on the show to talk about the first couple games and what we can expect out of the rest of the year out of the Drovers. This is In the Saddle. Welcome to the show. Today we have starting keeper Brian Byers with the men's soccer team to talk about the beginning of the season. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So we've already played some of our toughest opponents this year and done pretty well, still undefeated. So let's talk about the beginning of the season. You know, we had Baker um, home opener. It was a real tough game. So, um, you know, ended up pulling it out in the end. So, and then Hastings away in Tennessee this past weekend, real tough game. They're, you know, I think they're number one in the country. They not ranked, but they are to me um, and everybody else. So, a hard game, and then played Midland. You know, just they were still, still tough. They're not ranked, but still a tough game. Well, and, and Hastings not ranked just mostly by just kind of a glitch. Um, they were, I believe, runners up in the NAI yeah. last year. So, essentially, we've now beaten the number two and the number three team in the country and tied our, our other game. And so. It's looking like we're we've got a good start going. We've we've got a good start, young team, so it's a real good start for for us. I know Coach Hampton was a little concerned because it is such a young team. We lost a lot of really great seniors last year and some leadership. So how has that kind of um, been put on the back burner? Those concerns. Um, they're still there. Uh, okay. He still he still talks about them all the time. Um, but we've kind of we've had some boys step step up into positions, you know. Um, so it's not as bad as it, I guess it was at the very, very beginning, but so I think it's all coming around, so we're all getting to play as a team. And it's not that it's uh, all downhill from here or anything. We have, uh, we're still playing one of the toughest conferences. We've got a lot of tough teams ahead of us when the season goes on. Um, I guess against Midland we tied them, but we didn't get to go into any overtime to see if, if we could do, uh, if we could get that win. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, it was, you know, it was a tournament and stuff, so we played them. You know, after 90 minutes, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, we all didn't know if we were going to be able to go into overtime or not. And then I guess they ended up saying no overtime because they, they needed to stay on schedule with other games. So, because everyone has to drive so far. So, mm -hmm. we were disappointed, but, you know, it's just it's just part of it. You just got to go on. Well, we'll take a tie. Yeah. With the, the big wins over Baker and um, Hastings, which should be 2-3 and three probably in the NAI. Um, the next poll comes out this evening, it's, uh, as of fill time, Tuesday evening. Um, we should move up from our seventh spot. How important are rankings are this early in the season? To the boys, it's a big thing. Um, but some, you know, me, to me, it's just, yeah, it's nice to be ranked as high as possible, you know. But to me, it's just every game's a different game. You know, play it like be your last game anyway. Um, but the higher rankings do help with national tournament seedings and being able to go to the national tournament. So. You know, the higher we go and the longer we can stay up there, the better. So we go back to nationals. Um, well, last year you came in all-conference first team as our, our starting keeper as just a redshirt freshman. Um, what are your goals this season, both personally and then your goals for the team? Some personal goals, you know, go have as many, you know, clean sheets as possible. Um, makes it a little bit easier for the other boys to score and, you know, just keep some pressure off of them. Um, and just, you know, have a better season than I did last year. And um, some team goals, we all want to go back. You know, it's kind of a proving stone because we have so many freshmen. You know, most people don't think we'll be able to go back since we lost all the seniors. So we all want to go back and prove that we can make it and we can play with the big teams. You know, we played with them this weekend, so we can think we can do it again. 
I think you kind of had it a little easy last year. You had a really good defensive line. It didn't get a lot of shots that you had no. to save, so it might be a little tougher this year. Yeah, we've got some boys playing back there. Some, I guess you could call them younger boys, but we still got some experience. We got Scott, um, Nat, Phil, you know, Sam Rimmer. Still got all of them back there that were here last year, so they know the routine. So hopefully, it'll be okay. They know to keep them out of your yeah, hands. Exactly. <laughs> Well, it's kind of odd that this is unusual. This is the only sport that this would be unusual um, for us. But you're the only American on the team. Uh, what is that? What is that like for you? Um, I, I think it's, I like it. I think it's fun. Um, boys call me they call me English anyway because I just I talk like them now, and it's just part of it. Um, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. So it's like a big family. Well, good. We enjoy having them around campus. That's, it's fun. Well, thank you for the interview, and we look forward to a great season out of the boys and hopefully another national tournament. Great. Well, thanks for having me. Sure. Now it's time for Fan of the Week. Each week, we pick our Fan of the Week who wins an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on Facebook. Last week's Fan of the Week was Bernadette Howell. Again, congratulations to you. And this week's Fan of the Week is Ann Dyer. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Well, that's our show. Make sure to come out here to Drover Pitch on September 8th to watch your Drovers take on Lyon College at 10 a.m. and noon. The USAO media guides are ready and will be for sale at all of our home games for just $3 or by contacting Sports Information at 405-574-1210. We'll see you next time on In the Saddle. <laughs>